of trends. So to the Philippines, um, the trends that I've found uh, are the all-time hits. So these are the trends that have always been very big in Filipino culture. And these are these go to people and to uh, genres that were like most that are very popular in the Philippines. So here's a list. So there's Manny Pacquiao. And after this um, this slide, I'll have more specific pictures for these lists so that I can talk more about them. But just a quick few of the um, trends in the Philippines. There's Manny Pacquiao, um, a boxer if you guys know him, and karaoke, where I guess you have a TV and then you have a song playing without like any, any singer. And the one singing is either you or someone else in the crowd. And um, we also love romance, r romance dramas and comedies. And most of our, so like for, for movies and books and stuff like that, and uh, maybe t TV series. Is, and then for songs, for some reason, Filipinos love um, love and break up songs. It's just a thing in the Philippines. And then we have this fast food chain restaurant called Jollibee. And we're gonna watch a video about their, their ad, like advertisement that kind of reflect, you know, other trends in the Philippines. So onto the first one, Manny Pacquiao. In the Philippines, this guy is really huge. Um, if you guys are familiar with maybe uh, him having a match with Mayweather, or maybe your parents talk about like, oh, let's watch Manny Pacquiao versus Mayweather. And you might have um, heard that around, but he's a very popular person in our country because not only is he um, a very prominent boxer in the world of boxing and the sports, but he's also actually running for um, political uh, spots in the country. So I think one time he, became, he ran for a congressman and he, I think he is now a congressman too. So he's known internationally, which is why we back him up as a boxing star. And he's also um, very concerned with what's happening around in our country. So he ran for, for a political position. So that's Mena Pacquiao. It's also called Pac-Man. Um, and you can see those three pictures here, um, being a boxer and then here being a congressman. <laughs> um, next, we have karaoke. So the karaoke is really huge in the Philippines. And right over here to, the, to your, your left, you'll see this is what like, the setting it would be like for karaoke. It would be there in a house with like, a lot of people gathered together and then singing a song that they love. Um, and usually like whenever there's a party or a get together or just anything, uh, yeah, or just any get together, um, there would always be karaoke. And this could last like an hour, two hours of just of people just singing continuously. Songs that they love, like old classics. Um, my parents would also hold these and they would play songs from the 90s that they loved when they were kids too. <laughs> So there's always that. Um, not only that, but there are also like, you know, the regular, yeah. So the, it's usually the home setting and sometimes it's also outside. Um, they would set up a TV and then mic microphone and um, yeah, sing out, sing out any songs. Uh, karaoke is really huge, really huge activity. Um, and then for movies, we usually, gravitate towards love love uh, stories like romances um comedies and dramas and one two huge things are like love uh, finding love you know between two couples uh, as a story plot and then another huge plot is family drama and that family drama comes from um you know people in the philippines who have family members that move abroad like we we talked about last time where immigration was a thing where um, a family member would leave the you know would leave the Philippines to go to another country to make money and support the family back in the Philippines and so there is some drama that comes over there where maybe usually the parents would leave and the children the whole family would stay back because they can't afford the flight 
you know, to a different country. So what happens is um, whenever the parents would come back to their kids, you know, after a long period of time being abroad, you know, working uh, a job to support them, they start, the children sometimes feel like they're ab- they were abandoned by their, their parents because they didn't get, to, they don't get to spend time with them because they're working, you know, abroad, far away from where they live. And so there's just this feeling of abandonment that's um, a very huge component of family drama. And yeah, uh, so there's this one where try to find love and then this other one with the family drama that I found that's pretty popular in the Philippines. Um, and these are specifically telenovelas, so kind of like TV series. And then we have Jollibee. So Jollibee is a fast food chain that originally was the, from the Philippines. So it is from the Philippines, but now they have uh, international chains around the U.S. Right now, I think they have one in New York, Virginia, Texas, and Florida. I've been to like the one in New York and like all the ones at the East Coast. And then, um, yeah. But the, the kind of food that they provide are basically fried chicken and then some f- traditional Filipino meals like spaghetti or s- sweet spaghetti. Uh, not the, you know, not the regular spaghetti that you would get from you know, other restaurants. Uh, a bit sweeter. And you would have like some sausage in there. And then these are just um, right here. These are just kind of like the American um, menu uh, because they kind of adjust you know just like in how McDonald's would adjust their foods in other countries like the Philippines um, yeah it would just be different uh, they would be adapting but the main part is that they have fried chicken and a lot of um, Filipino foods uh, this is a huge huge uh, restaurant chain and um, yeah and while, while I talked about um, the genres that are huge in the Philippines, just like, you know, the genres as in romance and breakups and stuff like that, uh, here's, here's a Jollibee, um, tra- not trailer, but like an ad. Uh, it's very reflective of the, the sentiment of finding love and uh, yeah. So I'll show you this video. Uh, and one, one, I think one thing I, else I should add is because Jollibee is huge, their, um, you know, their promotional stuff also become trends in the Philippines, which is pretty funny. So here's a, a very perfect example of the feel that you get from Filipino media. And I'll play it right now. That's the English subtitle. So. That's a taste of some Filipino advertising for you. Um, and some things to note from that uh, ad is that Filipinos, um, they like things that are at least in ge- like as a, like, almost like a mass culture where people like to be very feely about things. And so things like that is very popular in the Philippines. Um, we have this thing called kilig, which can't really be um, translated to English, but it's more like that warm, fuzzy feeling uh, kind of deal. Um, that's what kilig is. And uh, yeah, that's, that's one aspect, um, a huge aspect in Filipino culture that is also like, um, that has affected trends there. And besides the all time trends, I talked to my cousin last night and said that uh, there were some other things that were trending. So there's this new kind of like trend where people would say words backwards, like instead of saying, I, like not specific, not strictly backwards, but just in uh, different, like the letters arranged in different, different ways, where instead of saying idol, like American idol, you say Lloyd or, or Doyle. Or something like that. Uh, I don't fully understand like that trend, but he said that that was one thing that was happening. 
Um, besides that, again, going with the movies, um, how there's romance and drama, you can see the this 100 Tula Parakai Stella. That means 100, um, 100 stairs for Stella. And I read that the premise of the movie was that the girl had uh, stuttering issues and her goal was to make 100 poems. Yeah, I guess just to get better. And then there, that's another romance story. And well, both of the hits in the Philippines are actually romance movies. And then for songs, right now, my Despacito is a huge, huge hit. You know, I just like everywhere else, like most other places.